Hello there and welcome to Fairland Cottage. Thanks for joining me here today. I'm going to do a very quick update on how I've been getting on doing the no poo process for about three months now. I started in January and no poo is basically when you stop using conventional shampoo which can just strip the hair of the natural oils. So a lot changes in three months. I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons that I've found in my experience. So let's get right into it. First things first, I've been doing this no poo process now for three months, which means I have stopped using all conventional, whether natural or harsh chemicals, shampoo. And what I use is chickpea flour. There are loads of other methods out there. This is the one that I started using and I'm sticking with it because it's working for me. If you want to see a video of how I do the chickpea process, I'll leave that down below. But whatever process you use, go for that. You might need a bit of trial and error, but this worked for me fine, so I'm going with it. There will be a transition phase. Now, if you've been using really harsh chemicals on your hair for so many years, when you go from that to basically nothing, it does take a little bit of transitioning. Your hair goes, whoa, what's going on here? But it does settle down after a while. Some people it takes a week or two, some people it takes a couple of months. For me, it took about a month and my hair didn't get too greasy. What it got was my scalp got, the flakes got really, really dry and it started to get really, really bad dandruff. And what I did with that was I just, I made sure that I didn't wear black and I made sure I didn't scratch my head and shake my hair around too much. But that passed and now my scalp is actually much better conditioned than it was before. It's still a little bit dry, but it's much better than it was before three months ago. Now hard water isn't so great for hair and soft water is brilliant. So what some people do if they're in an area of hard water, they get a soft water filter put on their share. If the water lathers really easily, then we, you know, with a bit of soap or stuff, then it's soft water. And if it doesn't lather at all, or lathers for like a second, you know you've got hard water. And you can actually get it professionally tested if you wanna find out also. Hairdresser, getting your hair cut. I used to have the hairdresser like come to the house anyway, so that didn't change. The only thing was I wasn't washing my hair. I was just getting a wet cut. The hairdresser actually noticed, I didn't tell her what I was doing, and she commented that my hair seemed in really good condition and she was wondering what I was doing. So that was a real positive for somebody who works with hair every day, actually noticing that the condition is much better. I have found in the three months that it has got really thick and it has got really long. Now I like long thick hair, so if you do as well, this process has definitely worked for that. I've also noticed that the ends of my hair are not getting split ends as they were before. And I like to use, you know, curling irons in my hair. So even with that, they have been much less. So that's a real positive as well. Coloring your hair, I used to color my hair. That stopped, so I am, experimenting with a few natural colors at the moment so i'll let you know in a further video how that goes leave me any comments below if you actually use natural hair colorants on your hair or if you're just happy going gray or if you don't have gray hair at all i have little bits and what i've noticed at the very beginning the gray hair seemed to just come on really really strong and what i found in the last month is that there is very few gray hairs and any that i find i just pluck i know there's that superstition that you pluck one and another seven you know come to its funeral <laughs> but for me it's worked absolutely fine just plucking those few gray hairs out so the positives of this process completely outweigh the negatives. It's thicker, it's stronger. People have noticed that it's in good condition. I'm only washing my hair once a week. And in the meantime, I'm just putting a little bit of raw cacao or a little bit of cornstarch, tiny amount, just to get rid of the grease. You obviously can't put any products on your hair. So I used to have a curling cream, stopped using that. I just use natural things like a bit of argan oil on the bottoms, but overall, highly, highly positive. I would recommend it. No good time to start. Just start, you know, wear a hat during the transition phase for whatever that is for you. 
If you try the chickpea flour and it doesn't work, try the other ones, but just keep persevering because if you can get through that little kind of like bloop and you come out the other side, it is so positive and you will have hair that is in great condition. The other thing with the no poo process, obviously you are reducing waste and I can either buy the chickpea flour in huge quantities or in paper packaging, so that works well for me. You're also not putting harsh chemicals on your scalp. I find it nicer keeping everything real simple. So that's all of it. If there's anything I forgot, let me know in the comments below, or if you wanna start it and you need some support, just ask me anything down below and I will do my best to help you out. And share it with anyone you know who wants to stop using shampoo. Thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to join me next week. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.